Hi, welcome to the Mostly Mike Show. Today we're going to attempt cutting this section of 8-inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe with a cable saw for use as a bridge on one of my homemade mountain bike trails. Then, as an added bonus, I'll show you how I camouflaged said pipe so it doesn't stick out like an Oreo in a pan of milk. Actually, the inverse of that. Yes, the inverse. So stick around to the end and find out how. So let me show you really quick where we need to put the pipe. Bend over and I'll show you. There's a small stretch of trail that has poor drainage, which is a politically correct way of saying that it's freaking muddy. Anyway, I rock armored this section, leaving a gap where this pipe can live happily ever after. Alright, so we have four feet of pipe, and we're going to divide by two. So mark our line with a pencil, or whatever you got, and now let's make like the Beverly Hillbillies and clamp it. Being that we don't have a giant pipe vise, I'll simply ratchet the strap down to my picnic bench. This is a cable saw. I bought it at the Big Orange store on clearance super cheap several years ago at a boot 90% off its regular price. I'll include the Amazon link below for similar saws, which clicking this link really helps this channel grow from small commissions that I earn on each sale. The cutting edge of the saw is just a thin piece of wire rope with a handle on each end. When you stroke it, the heat generated through friction and a touch of quantum physics is enough to melt through the PVC. This type of saw really shines in tight quarters where ordinary saws don't have room. Well, let's see how it shines on this 8 inch Schedule 40. As I start the cut, if you listen very closely, you will hear it start to squeal. I'll turn the mic up. Kinda sounds like a violin. Very soothing to listen to. This means that it's working. I also smell plastic burning, which also means that it's working. Smell plastic burning. <sighs> it's like trying to start 10,000 lawnmowers. This is one hell of a workout. <sighs> Did it make it dirty? Oh yeah. I don't know if this is gonna be the preferred method. I don't think it's going to be the straightest cut. Oh. Another break. Oh my god. I'm telling you what. Did it. It wasn't pretty, but it did it. Oh, okay. Here's what we're looking at. You can see it didn't stay on the marks, but for what we're using it for, just a trail bridge. So as you can see, and as I had said, we can all agree that there's definitely better ways to cut PVC pipe. In this use, aesthetics aren't that important. I was basically just testing this cable saw to see if it could cut through a pipe this big. And in a way, it was a success. Had the cable to pipe diameter ratio been greater, we'd probably had a straighter cut. Check out how cut this made my other pipes. You don't get this way overnight. Here's my idea to make the pipe blend in a little better. I'm going to take a torch. It can be propane or map gas. I'm just going to flash the outer surface to make it turn brown. Experience speaks here when I say it is best to stay upwind while doing this because the fumes are quite noxious. I'm pretty sure that these fumes can cause chronic illness if inhaled for extended periods. Well, 
All that's left is to take this pipe out on a trail and give it a new home. Gotta pry up on this one rock here. And it seems to fit in between the rocks pretty nice. Give it a few months in the weather and it'll look like it's been out there a thousand years. First try, here we go. Please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you enjoyed. Tell me all about your pipe cutting adventures and inhibitions. I'd love to hear about them. Thanks for watching this Mostly Mike Show presentation and I'll see you next time.